The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at our first chart, like we always do, is the German DAX. And as you can see, so far this morning, the high of the day has been a perfect 61% retracement. If we take a look at the next one, which is quite interesting, in my opinion, because uh, this is the FTSE. It's on a four-hour chart. Uh, we took out yesterday's high by just a hair and what's interesting about that is it's in the midst of the fact that they seem to have this brexit thing taken care of now whether that's true or not that's what they tell us and we always know what they tell us is not always the way it is but the british pound has been able to rally about 200 pips uh you know from its low that was down there at that 126 and change we got up to the 382 retracement of that last move so far so that's going to be an interesting one uh, to watch, too. We have some really great charts today from our good friend uh, Rich Anderson. Sent a couple of things on to show us uh, similar moves in the market that we've been watching. And so I think that's something that we'll cover here in just a little bit. But I think the... Uh, interesting one today uh, is really the euro as you remember when we were talking about that dollar index uh, you know we were looking at something that was just absolutely a perfect uh, a b c d pattern up at a double top level we got right up to 97 folks i think we hit 96.99 and that took out the high of august by one tick by one tick and you'll notice that it's a beautiful a b c d pattern happening at that time if that market isn't yelling and screaming to you sell me sell me sell me i don't know what is because if you can't get that thing to push through by more than just a tick that is not a very good sign as that was happening and we were talking about this yesterday we were looking at the euro and the euro was coming down right at the 130 level folks we did not go one tick below 130. If you go back there into August, just like that double top in the dollar index, this is a double bottom in the euro. We did not go below that 1.618 expansion by one tick. We hit it exactly. Now, how can, it, how can the most heavily traded thing in the world, the euro is far, far bigger than anything else, how can it not go one tick? And it's rallied 110 points, which is a little over $1,100 in just a matter of a few hours. So this is really key level at 130, as you can see, and at 97 in the dollar index. That's uh, really the only way you can do it. By the way, on a sad note, we lost one of the great uh, San Francisco Giants last night. Uh, big stretch. Number 44, Willie McCovey passed away. I can remember going there when uh, the, the kids were little and even long before that and uh, watched McCovey, you know, hit home runs at uh, uh, Dodger Stadium. And he's, in fact, the only player ever to hit a, a baseball out of Dodger Stadium from the center field area. That it was almost 600 feet. But uh, it's so far you have to see, see, it, see it with uh, binoculars. Okay, let's take a look at a couple other things that are interesting here in the market. <clears throat> yeah, he was something else. And, and he, not only that, I happened to meet him once at a Dodger giant old timers uh, uh, game and uh, he, he's just a real friendly fellow too. Let's again, he sure loved golf, Bob. You're absolutely correct. Bob, by the way, your, uh, your uh, trade on the uh, natural gas. I mean, it, you know, you were alerting to that when it was 311, it hit, it hit 331 last night. And that was a perfect ABCD Gartley up there at 331. I know a couple of the uh, folks here at um, TFNN are very thankful of that. They emailed me to let me know that uh, 
that was a beautiful Gartley up there at 331. It's trading at 329 and change right now. So could do to use, Mr. Bob. You did a great job. And thanks to everybody that sends these good things in. And speaking of good things, and speaking of good things, we have to say something to our good friend here, Mr. Z, for what it be. And we'll take a look at this uh, gold yesterday. If you'll notice uh, in the gold market, uh, we had that butterfly top up there at 1246, which was a perfect 382 retracement. And as you'll see, we came down and made a 1.618 expansion of that move at 1213. And guess what? That was almost exactly $34 from the high that was made on October 26, and that is the harmonic number uh, in the gold market. And as you can see, we were looking for about a 382 retracement. Well, as the trading gods would have it, we've already got up to 1232 today in this last run here. Um, I don't know what, what there was any news or anything, but we did get up to that level. So we hit almost a 61% retracement in just the first day. That's a, a very big move. Now, silver hasn't moved very much at all, but the gold did have that big move. That was a... Uh, and if you remember, that 1213 level was the old high that we made back uh, in the late uh, late September. So there are a lot of things there that were lined up. We want to thank Mr. Z for that because he sure brought it to our attention, you know, to uh, give us an idea of what's going on. So this euro is uh, it's out of the woods right now because if you move 110 pips off that number and that dollar index can't get above that double top, that's <laughs> that's a very, very important thing. Maybe that's what's moving the gold. I don't know, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, I did want to bring um, something to your attention from our good friend, Rich Anderson. Uh, he sent this to me uh, from a video that he saw uh, from CNBC. A gentleman was on yesterday uh, talking about these corrections in the stock market. And uh, this is the S&P 500 going back to 2010. It basically shows these parallel channels and the types of corrections that we had. You'll notice that we had a 21% retracement. We had a 15% retracement. And if we get another 15% retracement from where we're here, that just takes us to 2,300, folks. That's what that looks like. And if we look at this, this is one of the things that we brought out in our newsletter, that these are just normal corrections. And if you go back and look at these, you, you'll see these corrections are, are right there. And we get these 7, 15, 9, 12, 14, 10% corrections all the time. Now, we haven't had an outlier event in a long time, but an outlier event would take the S&P down to 2,200. Whether it would do that or not, you know, remains to be seen. But... Let's take a look at something that really looks interesting, and we'll just move on to this, and then I want to cover crude oil when we get back because that's going to be an interesting one. Here is the the leader of the pack in the stock market, the one that's been leading the market all the way. It topped uh, latest in, in late uh, September. It made that beautiful butterfly pattern, as you can see. But look at the move in October, froze. A, B, C, D. And what we've done since uh, October the um, – uh, 28th, we've rallied for five days to an equal rally. What did we do in mid-October after the 12th? We rallied for five days to an equal rally. Folks, both of those rallies are exactly equal, and the one that we hit yesterday was a 382 retracement off of the high that happened on September the 28th. Whether that means anything or not, I don't know, but there certainly appears to be just a tad of harmony in this, wouldn't you think? Looking at the Heritage House here in Philadelphia, out on Broad Street, let's pay attention, folks. 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus, developed by John Logan and his team, is a standalone piece of software that can change the way you trade. Let the Taz Profile Scanner work for you by scanning over 5,000 financial instruments such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Taz Profile Scanner Plus right at TFNN.com. And when you sign up, you gain instant access to John Logan 
Logan's most recent webinar, How Price, Volume, and Time Make Market Profile So Unique. This hour-long webinar with John Logan will walk you through the most powerful features of the scanner and how you can use it to become a more successful and profitable trader. You pay absolutely nothing for 30 days while you try out this software risk-free. For more information on the Taz Profile Scanner and to get your 30-day free trial today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance, David White's daily market letter, gives you trade recommendations based on David's proprietary power law vector indicator that put the odds of success overwhelmingly in your favor. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price for each stock and option trade. David combines his years of trading experience along with his background in technology and computing to offer his subscribers his take on the markets on a daily basis. Every trading day by 9.30, David publishes his morning issue of the Path of Least Resistance, along with updates sent out throughout the week whenever there is new, actionable trading information. All new subscribers receive a 30-day, no-questions-asked, money-back guarantee. To sign up for David White's daily trading newsletter right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com, and you'll find the Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have a caller. Victor, are you there? Oh, evidently we... Hello? Oh, looks like it could be going yes. back to 2016 as a gap at 14. I've never seen a chart like this with all this volume. They said they beat earnings, but I don't know, maybe the profit margins are squeezing. Is this uh, the stock of LOB? Yep. Okay, and what is that stock, Victor? What is it? What's it's the name a, of it? It's, uh, it's Live Oak Bank Shares. It's a banking platform you do on your phone. It's a real. Oh company. dear, I see that, but holy cow, I have hardly any data on this. Let me just get this data here. Yeah, oh, this, sure this, uh, yeah, yeah this is this side. stock's is got big. This, I think this stock has got some trouble, Victor. Uh, that's what it looks yeah, like to they, me. We've gone from they, 33 they, to 18 yeah. in just a matter of a few months, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I IPO'd at 18 two, three years ago. That's what I'm saying. What do you mm -hmm. think? There's something in that report they're saying with their margins with the higher interest rates. Uh, uh, I don't know what the problem is, but it's a big problem. I mean, somebody had to know something back there in July, and, uh, you know, now it's been coming down. Once we went below 28, you know, that broke a whole mm -hmm. lot of support, and, uh, you know, we're $10 lower than that. Now, I don't see any reason for it to stop in here. This has been a really cascading market over since October, so I wouldn't touch this with a ten foot pole. What about uh what about the there's a gap from two years ago at fourteen? Would you touch it then once it's No, uh gap? let's just take a quick look at that. Uh well we're actually not too far. Let's just put this up, let the folks see it, because we're not uh see we're way through the sixty one percent retracement that came in at twenty and the seventy eight percent mm -hmm. retracement uh, doesn't come in till uh, 16 and a half. So two dollars lower. Yeah, I wouldn't even look at it then. Look how it went through. It went through the 382. It went through the 50 percent. It went through the 61. Why is it going to stop at the 78 percent? You know. So I, I I would just wait on this. There's other opportunities out there that I that I think you could use that would make it uh, you know a whole lot easier. 
Really? Yeah, yeah. From your perspective, nothing there. There's nothing there. No, uh -huh. sir. Not at all. I wouldn't touch it. Thank you, sir. Okay. Th thanks for calling in, Victor. I appreciate it. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of crude oil here, and you can imagine here just a few weeks ago, we were trading up there at $76 a barrel. And the reason why I'm bringing this up to you is to talk to you a little bit about uh, what we call inside information. I can't tell you the number of times over the 60 years I've been doing this that people have given me inside information. I have never gotten a tip that worked. I've gotten lots of tips that didn't. If you've ever read the book, Reminiscences of a Stock Operator by Edwin Lefevre, which is the basically the pen name of Jesse Livermore. He talks in there about an old guy named Old Westlake, and they were sitting there in the bucket shop, and Old Westlake would come in and give a tip, and then he would leave, and everybody would say, oh, God, I hate to see that Old Westlake come in here. He gives us these tips, and all of them fail, and Jesse Livermore says, yes, isn't that nice? So what, <laughs> what, Vic, what, he, was what he was saying is, is that even though he was giving a tip, his tips were perfect because they all worked. They just worked the opposite way. So don't be a tick tip giver or a tip taker. Try not to do that. You know, that's not your business. Your business is to react to what you see. You don't have to share your information with anybody unless you want to. And we've got some nice people here in the TFNN room that do that. But being listening to tips, and the reason why I'm bringing crude oil up uh, we've had several instances on the TV just recently because of the things in Iran and Saudi Arabia and all this uh, political stuff that's going on that the price of oil was going to skyrocket. Well, it skyrocketed, of course, but it did it upside down. And so that's, uh, you know, that's what you got to look at. Watch what the charts are telling you, folks. If prices are going down, there's more sellers. If prices are going down, there's more buyers. You know, that is, um, that's, a, that's the really thing that you want to look at. Let's take a, just a quick look here at uh, crude oil in just recently. Okay, just look at it just recently. You'll see that we made a, a bottom down there in what you, uh, you can see in February. We made a beautiful uh, butter fly pattern up there at the 1.27 expansion ABCD at 76.95. Now, this is the daily. The chart that I posted earlier, of course, was the weekly. They both came in at the same price, $77 a barrel. Where are we now? We're at $64 and change. But look at this, how it came down. It breaks really hard and it rallies very, very quietly for three days. Then it comes down hard again. What does it do? It rallies very, very quietly, this time for five days. The three-day rally and the five-day rally were exactly equal. That was at 60, 68. Now we're at 64. Those are the kind of short-term things that if you're watching crude oil, you'll notice that the 135 pattern that is there is absolutely set up beautifully. And not only that, but it rallies for five days. The problem was the rally only went from 66 to 67.80. It only rallied a dollar eighty a barrel. What did it do in October? It rallied a dollar eighty a barrel. So watch for that repetition because the markets repeat over and over again. When Dr. Andrew Lowe wrote his book, The Non-Random Walk Down. Wall Street to two things that he said in that book about technical analysis is one that they do repeat over and over again and they are predictable within limits and the markets are chaotic but within the chaos are non-random patterns that repeat over and over again and that's what we try to look for when watching some of these things so when you hear someone talk about something take a look at the chart and see if it verifies you know what it's saying because if it's bullish you know things are going to go higher and if it's bearish things are going to go lower and if they don't something's wrong if you remember yesterday we talked about the wheat market we were looking to buy christmas wheat at 495 uh our stop was at 489 we got down to 491 and a half and then all of a sudden bada bing bada boom she took off and rallied 14 cents if you're in that december uh, wheat, you don't want to lose now. So put your stop at 495. The last price we saw was uh, just a little while ago was was 505. So uh, you're in a $500 profit in that. So put your stop at break even, and then you wouldn't have to lose anything. So that's the key. Now, how much it's going to go higher, I don't know. If you're really if you're really nervous, you could put your stop at 499 and guaranteed a four to $200 profit. But I would suggest that you uh, you know, let it 
go because you know these these grains are very oversold right in the middle of the uh, uh, harvesting, and so we should be uh, getting a pretty good rally in some of these. Whether this is a thing to do, we'll have to wait and see or not. Oh uh, wow, hmm. okay. Anyway. We will be uh, looking at uh, some of the other things here uh, very, very shortly when we come back from the next break. We had one other uh, question about uh, someone asked us about Deutsche Bank. Uh, Deutsche Bank is up a little bit this morning uh, in uh, Germany, uh, but, uh, you know, who knows what's going to happen over there. Uh, that, they're not going to let that bank go under, folks. That's a flagship of the German uh, the German people, and they're not going to let that go under. It might go to five, it might go to three, but they'll rescue that thing. They're not going to let it go under. Just remember when that, let's just remember when, when in January, when they came out and offered a 35% discount to buy Deutsche Bank at 20, that means you could have bought it for 17. What a great deal that was in January, right? One year and you only you only drop 38% of your money. So there's another example. When something looks like it's too good to be true, chances are that it is. So sort of pay attention to that. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, we're back, and I posted a chart of the uh, Canadian dollar versus the U.S. dollar. We've been in this one for uh, quite some time, and what we're looking at now is the fact that it made that 135 pattern where you have the lower tops. That's exactly what you like to see. Uh, it brings in a lot of symmetry. Each of those tops will be a Fibonacci retracement of the other. These happen to be 78.6 uh, level retracements, and so... Uh, the reason why I'm bringing this up is I got an email last night from one of our uh, uh, students over in Hong Kong who works for a hedge fund over there, and she's actually a trader and getting better and better. But she's been in this for uh, well over uh, eight days now. And the, the interesting part is that she said, I, I just, I'm just getting so tired of looking at it. I said, you know, it goes up, it goes down. She says, I never have a loss in it, but, you know, the profit's only one or $200, and what should I do? And I said, well... A, stop looking at it. You know, no one really cares whether you're watching what you're looking at, folks. No one really cares that at all. What you want to be able to do is to uh, is to be able to uh, look at uh, the chart and say, hmm, what should I do? So I, here's what I told her to do. I said, look, Sherry, I said, take it off your screen, put a stop in so you're only going to lose $100. And you can you can afford to do that. At that time, she had about a three hundred dollar cushion. Now she's the cushion is, you know, close to a thousand bucks. But at that time, I said stop watching it because looking at the charts, and watching these day by day, and especially now when you've got these programs that gives you your equity run down to the second. We never had that for many many years. Uh, when I first met Amos Hostetter back in 1972. You know, we didn't have any of those things as far as equity. Your equity run came on a on an IBM sheet and stuff like that, so you had no way of doing it. The way you get it now is really a detriment because people watch that, and it uh, you know how much money you're making or how much money you're losing, and and it's like uh, Kenny Rogers. You know, you know when to hold them, you know when to fold them. There'd be time enough for counting when the dealing's done. You want to worry about the counting. When the thing is over, that leads us to to the very only 100% trading rule that never fails, and that's from Larry Williams, and that is the old cal calculator rule. When you reach for the calculator to figure out how much money you've made before you reach for that calculator, pick up the it used to be pick up the telephone, but now it's open the computer and do a click or two, but get out of the position because your greed index just hit maximum and that's going to be probably all you're going to get. So when you start thinking how much money you've made, be very, very careful, folks, because that's the old, uh, that's the old uh, greed index. The fear index, you shouldn't have to worry about that because your stop would take care of you if you do it correctly. And that's the $64 question of, of whether you do it correctly or not. We'll have to uh, just to wait and see. So that's what we're watching here, and we'll uh, move on to that level here. Uh, let's see what else we have this morning. Someone else had a question about... Uh, Oh, dear. Oh, it's the British pound. Stay with me, folks. Let's get the British pound up here because this is uh, – here's one that, that really interesting here because we were looking for some really strong support here in the British pound to come in around the 125 level. We only got to 126, and then, of course, the, the Brexit thing uh, came out uh, last night, and the market rallied all the way up to the 130 level. Uh, which is at that 382 retracement. I think we've rallied over 300 pips in that, you know, very, very uh, quickly. But that didn't quite make the 78% level. The ones that we were in, of course, were, were the Japanese yen that's working very well and the Canadian dollar that's uh, doing pretty good. And, and of course, the uh, another one that we got from one of our friends down under that looked really interesting, and that was the uh, the Australian dollar. And that's been acting you know, really, really nicely, too. So we'll just put that one up if I can find it, and it should be right here with the rest of them. Oh, shut the front door. I can't find it. I'm not, not, not to worry, not to worry. Okay, I wanted to bring you some information from our good friend Jim Bartoleone, and I'll bring this up so you can take a quick look at it here. <laughs> Uh, you know, I don't really – oh, the Russell, I can certainly do that. One second here. Let's put up the uh, – this This is a Elliott Wave thing for my good friend uh, Jim Bartolone, uh V50 Partners. If you'll notice that these are the uh, – the, 
basically this is the same as that NASDAQ chart that I've done. This is the S&P on the 15-minute. Of course, I did it on the hourly, but he's doing Elliott Wave counts along with the patterns. And we just had this rally, and he's showing you if this could be a point B. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what he's looking at. So we'll take a look at it. Let's take a quick look at the IWM here. I believe we have it here somewhere. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, here it is. Bear with me here. We'll bring it up, and we'll get it up here, take a look at it. You'll notice the IWM, when it made its bottom, and I'm talking to you when it's made its bottom, it was exactly a 50% retracement of the October low. Now, we almost matched the 2018 low, so this was a weaker. Now, on the rally back, we've also been a little bit weaker on the rally back. So that's an important thing, too. All I know is what I feel very strongly about, folks, and I've said this several times, if we break those lows that we made last Thursday or Friday when all of those FANG stocks hit those exact numbers, I mean, we hit Amazon, Google, Facebook, Netflix, all of them hit perfect numbers. And if those perfect numbers fails, that tells you that that cycle that there has been broken and we're going to go down big time if that happens. I mean, until that happens, it, you know, we're still in a rally mode. And, you know, nothing really happens to that. So pay attention. That, I think it's something that's really interesting. we got another uh, potential really neat trade set up for you this morning. Let's take a quick look here uh, at the um, Treasury notes as we, as we came in here this week. Uh, we got up to this, uh, you know, 119 level and change. That was a 50% ABCD correction. Uh, just, you know, very, very shallow. We've, we've been selling off. Uh, all morning and yesterday and the day before, ever since Mr. Z talked to us about the Treasury bonds getting up to that 139 and change level. We're now down below 138, but we are at a very interesting one. Um, uh, Terry, double check that uh, IWM because uh, I don't think it went much above the 382, as I recall. I haven't double checked it this morning, but that's something that uh, I think I would, uh, if you'll double check that. Uh, that would, you know, what I'll do is I've got a break coming up here, and when we get back from that break, I'm going to double check that IWM just to see what it did, to make sure that uh, we have it done correctly because that's an important one to watch. Let me uh, let me get it up here, and we will get it here. Just one second here, IWM, and we'll be just fine. IWM, and we'll get it up here. Oh, gosh, you talk about a DCB. You know what that is, a dead cat bounce. He ain't seeing anything against the cats or anything. But look at this. This is a this is a very weak rally. In fact, it's exactly like the rally that we had uh, off of that October 28th bottom. So you better pay a uh, pretty potential uh, of that, too. There is the, uh, the very, very shallow rally, a four-day rally. We had a three-day rally after October 28th. And here we are, excuse me, after October 12th. And then we've got another one in here. So this is going to be an interesting one also, you know, to uh, pay close attention to. That's uh, what we looked at. We hit the 61% retracement in the gold, folks, at uh, 1233. We're now trading at 123070. Hit it spot on. So that'll be an interesting one to pay attention to. 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. 
call us today. Jason Paff has just launched his weekly newsletter, The Quantitative Edge, available only at TFNN.com. Right now, you can sign up for Jason's outstanding weekly report, including midweek updates whenever warranted, with a 30-day money-back guarantee included, so you have nothing to risk. Jason develops his trade recommendations by creating an ensemble of predictive and mathematical models trained on data by leveraging a variety of techniques, including market-based computer simulations. Jason then combines these sophisticated predictive and analytical models with deeply researched macro outlooks to identify opportunities in a number of different markets for traders to act on. Whether you're looking to trade futures, equities, commodities like crude oil and gold, forex, or cryptos, Jason covers it all. Sign up for Jason Paff's weekly trading newsletter right now by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the quantitative edge under the newsletters tab. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, brought to you by Nadex, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, I've posted the chart, updated the updated chart of the 15-minute gold chart because we're having some pretty good swings here these last couple of days. We hit the 61% retracement within 50 cents. We've only backed off $3 from that level, but that could be a very important thing to look at. The first stop was at 382, and we went quickly up there. We've rallied, folks, $20 uh, an ounce in just a matter of uh, 24 hours. The harmonic number in gold is 34 and 17, so we're three dollars above that. Uh, but the fact that it hit that exact 61% retracement is very important because if we get above that, you know, this uh, maybe this ABCD pattern that I'm looking at on the long-term basis could be wrong because if we get above 1246, boy, that would really be a bullish sign because that would really change the whole structure of that. Now, silver is is so far down the road that it would really take silver quite a bit. We got up to 1450 in silver, but uh, it would have to move 50 cents higher to give it about $15 an ounce to even get it moving. But it's certainly possible. That's absolutely, you know, no question. Now let's move over to the agricultural uh, side of this for just a little bit. I'm good. Oh, the bonds was, let's, before we do this next one, bonds is the one I want to look at. Thank you very much. Here it is right here. We're at the moment of truth in these bonds. Um, we're down here. Uh, this was earlier this morning. You'll notice where that little red line is down there. That's the 61% retracement. That comes in at 137.27. We hit that just a little bit a while ago. That's an A, B, C, D, Gartley pattern at the 78% level. That also happens to be the 61% of the low on October the 9th. So if you like harmonic, uh, this is the one you want to take a look at it. You'll notice when it made its high up there at 139.27 when Mr. Z was out there with his little trumpet going down Broad Street there in Philadelphia right in front of the offices of Duke and Duke saying, sell the bonds, sell the bonds. Well, looks like uh, they might be ready for a little bit more of a rally. But uh, this is a high translation to the right. You'll notice that the cycle's all crested on the far right. And we've had a very shallow correction here, very similar to the one we had between the 11th and the 18th. This one is taken from the 28th down to the 1st, a little shorter. But it's done it in ABCD structure with a 78% level at 137.27. And the 61% retracement of the low on the 9th of October at that same price, 
137.27. So if it uh, can do that, we'll see. Yes, the mummers on broad. I don't know what those mummers are, but uh, they're all over uh, Philadelphia during Halloween. So who knows? Anyway, that's uh, I. I don't know. I I don't know what the last price is on bonds, but they were holding that 137.27 level. So I would sort of keep an eye on that. Uh, oh, that was the, the low was 137.26, and we're now at 138.02. So at least it started working in the right direction. Whether it's going to continue that way or not, you know, I don't really know. Now, folks, uh, we have some really uh, interesting other markets to look at here that I that I wanted to bring to your attention just for for a little bit because these are markets that are not uh, you know heavily traded by. A lot of different people, but let me get this uh, four-hour chart up on this so we can take a quick look at it. This is the one that uh, we we heard about this morning from several people, and that is the uh, contract for the natural gas. Beautifully traded market. Each point is worth a hundred bucks. So uh, we had a prop a, a price up there at uh, three thirty-one. Uh, we're now trading at 327. That's a $400 uh, lead. So if you're risking $400, you put your stop at break even and let her rip. But that's an A, B, C, D Gartley pattern. I didn't draw the the, the fancy little uh, triangles in because I'm short of time. But uh, from the high we made back in October the 10th, we came down and we made a perfect, this is the first one, the first ABCD correction, and it was right at a 61% retracement. And so the risk there is very small. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But the odds are in your favor because they have a positive expectation. What you have to do is you have to manage your your risk, and that's the whole key you know, to the things that you're trying to look at here. So just pay attention to that. That's a, a very, very interesting thing. Now, I have one other comment to make here in these next few minutes that I've been asked about three or four times this week that I've delayed talking about it. About three and a half, well, it was more than that. It was about five or six weeks ago, six weeks ago, late September, I put out a special report on the bearishness in the stock market. And I said, I gave all the factors, the, you know, the momentum, the high lows, you know, the advanced decline, all the patterns, three drives, butterflies, bada bing, bada boom. But I said there was one factor in there that I couldn't tell you about because it was 100 percent and it's still in effect. So I can't I can't tell you yet, but someday I will tell you what it is. And it's it's going to be interesting when you hear it, but. I, I'm not allowed to uh, say anything about it. I've been uh, well. That's, anyway, that's the that's still in effect. So those of you that have asked me about it, I still can't say anything about it, but I will in the future, but not until the trade is over and the trade is not over yet. So um, and that I don't know when it will be, but <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, that was my answer. I I have to respect the person's judgment that uh, gave me this, and I think. Um, you would all agree that that's the way you would like it if you were to share something with me because I've always uh, tried to do that. But anyway, let's keep an eye on that. Now let's get to the other one that's really interesting here. We're going to switch over to the uh, commodity markets for a little bit, and uh, we'll put this up here and take a look at it. Uh, no, there's no inside information. You know, really, come on, folks. Uh, there's. Uh, I wish I knew there was, Jim, but I I have never gotten inside information. Let let me let me post this chart here, the hog, so you can take a look at it, because this is one that's interesting. When when I was first working at Drexel back in '76, this was probably early '77. I did nothing in stocks, but there was a stock that going around uh, Wall Street that was just absolutely lighting up the boards. It was called Resorts International. And it was a gambling stock, as I recall. And uh, this stock was crazy. And Drexel put out a, uh, a bulletin that if you wanted to short Resorts International, you had to put up 200% margin. That's how wild the stock was. I, I happened to get a, a chart from... Um, uh, investors in business daily Bill O'Neill and I looked at it and I could see uh, that on a daily chart it had made a beautiful three drive to a top pattern and I like three drive to a top pattern so I wanted to sell a hundred shares of Resorts International and they tried to talk me out of it and they said it's 200% margin I said I got more than enough margin to cover to cover it I said I want to sell you know a hundred shares and they, and I said can I do it she says yes I said and so I, I sold a hundred 
shares. And, and it was within about $2 at the top. You know, I was trading at 110 or whatever it was. And it broke down to about 90 no, it broke more than that. It broke down to about 81. It was about a $2,000 gain in about three days. Dumbest thing I ever did was take the profits because it went to bupkis. So when you hear these uh, inside information and all the other stuff, just, just remember, folks, if it's really good, no one's going to tell you about it. By the way, Mike Milken was on uh, Bloomberg last night, and I missed it. I wanted to alert you folks. If those of you saw it, he was introduced as a financier and a philanthropist, which I think is really great. It doesn't say anything about the 25,000 people that lost their jobs and all the money. Anyway, boys and girls, let's stay with us. we got a few more sh uh, short things to talk about, and then we will turn it over to Tommy O'Brien, 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics, including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the X. SAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I put the chart of that NASDAQ up just to show you the importance of it. Um, you know, we've had equal rallies, equal um, drops, ABCD perfect. Uh, we've now rallied the exact same that we did after the October 10th big drop. Then we came down again. So whether this means anything or not, I'm not sure. But, you know, pay close attention to it. Now, the fact that the U.S. dollar has made that double top up there at 97 is very important. However, anytime it pops through that 97, you know, all bets will be off. But uh, 
these are how these markets attack these points. And if, if you prepare for them, you know, sometimes it gives you a very low risk opportunity. Yesterday, when the euro made that 113 level exactly and could not go one pip below it, as the index was, the dollar index was at 96.99, I believe, and only took out the high of August by one tick, that was telling you that there was no buying present. And that meant that it was most probably going to rally, which in fact, is what we've really done. So that's the main thing that you want to keep an eye on to these things right now. If the gold gets above that uh, uh, 1235 level, it's going to be uh, probably extremely bullish. But so far, all it's done is make a $20 rally in one day, which was certainly, uh, you know, accessible by looking at it yesterday. It was pretty much spot on. And uh, we'll know more, you know, later on. So tomorrow is going to be a, another interesting day as we as we come into what four days five days from the election which is going to be a really big thing to uh, pay close attention to as we see some of these things start to uh, unfold we're having pretty good swings today we had two up and down swings in the s p of 10 points in the matter of the first uh, 20 minutes so that tells you that we've got some rocking and rolling going on uh, in the stock market also so live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may god bless and we'll see you on the flip-flop tomorrow from the offices of Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19147. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks!